welcome for our online training and placements so as even even if we apply as a finance functional consultant also it's a basic question then in the interviews they'll be asking us tell me about procure to pay cycle or uh, order to cash cycle so i'm going to explain in this session what is procure to pay cycle so procure to pay cycle even though if we are not the part of the procurement module implementation when we say account payables uh, we have implemented in account payables we are going to raise the invoices based on the purchase order for that purchase order we are supposed to raise the invoice and we must be clear over the procedure for raising the invoices for the purchase order so here we should have some basic idea for procurement also as well as uh, the documents which we use here so we have to say that when we say procure to pay cycle we have to explain that the procurement will be started with the requisition document requisition document is prepared by an employee who is uh, required some goods or services from the supplier once the requisition document is approved by the organization or management then we will create rfq request for quotation we'll send this rfq to suppliers and we'll be receiving the quotations from the different suppliers and then the organization will do the quote analysis which quotation is better and they'll make it as a purchase order purchase order is basically a legal document so purchase order will be created and we'll send this purchase order to the supplier as per the purchase order terms and conditions supplier will supply the goods to our organization either goods or service according to the receipt then we'll go for raise the invoice so invoice is a document which we'll receive from the supplier while creating an invoice we are going to specify the invoice information like supplier supplier side and we'll go for validate the invoice accounting the invoice and approve the invoice after this all then we are going to make the payments to the supplier and we'll create accounting transactions for both the invoices as well as for the payments and we'll transfer all these invoice accounts as well as payment accounts to gl module and we'll transfer this uh, amount information to cash management that i have not included in this document amount information will be transferred to the cash management module for reconciliation purpose accounts information will transfer to general ledger for uh, accounting ledger trial balance purpose so initially the data will be transferred into the table called gl interface and then we, we are going to run the program or sometimes these programs will be scheduled journal import program it's going to validate the data from interface tables and uh, then it's going to load the data from interface tables to base tables here that's that's how it will be uh, procured to pay cycle so they may not expect in depth of these documents like uh, requisition rfq quotation but they they will expect like purchase order uh, levels of information what are different types of purchase orders we have in oracle fusion cloud procurement model we have three different types of purchase orders standard purchase order blanket purchase agreement contract purchase agreement bpa cpa okay so the purchase order information will be entered at four levels headers lines shipments and distributions okay this code combinations will be entered at the distribution level header level we are going to have the po data a PO number, supplier, supplier side, business unit, PO title, currency, and uh, other total. And line level will specify item, quantity, price, and shipment where supplier has to ship the product. And distributions, we are going to have account code combinations that. For this PO, we'll go for raise the invoice. So that identifying the purchase order, as per the PO, we are going to raise. And uh, while creating the purchase order, there is a concept called uh, two-way matching, three-way matching. So two-way matching is nothing but comparing the two documents. I think it's not there in this. No problem. It's very simple. Two-way, three-way, and four-way match. There are three types of match approvals we have. Two-way matching, three-way matching, four-way matching. So two-way matching is nothing but comparing the purchase order and uh, invoice. What we will compare, we will compare the quantity and the amount. These two things we are going to compare. Whatever we ordered 
in the purchase order, whatever the amount we have in PO that we are supposed to make the payment. So the invoice will be raised based on the ordered quantity. Invoice will be raised based on the ordered quantity. How about three-way matching, comparing the three documents, purchase order, receipt, invoice. So here, we are, again, we will compare same quantity and amount only, three levels. So whatever the items we have received, for that we are going to raise the quantity. For the received quantity, we are going to raise the invoice. Let's say we ordered 100 items. In two-way matching, you must raise the invoice for 100. In three-way matching, for example, we raised the order 100 items, but we received 80 items. So we'll raise the invoice for 80 items. Four-way matching means comparing the four documents, which is order receipt. Receipt means count, counting. Inspection, then we'll go with the invoice. Here I also again, same information will be compared. Here, accepted quantity. Here, accepted quantity. So we ordered 100 items, for example. Let's say we ordered 100 laptops. We received 80, 80 laptops from the supplier. Out of that 80, uh, 70 items has got good quality. We accepted 10 items we returned. So here we are going to raise the invoice for 70 items, whatever we have accepted whatever the items we have accepted that, that we are going to mention here. Accepted quantity, we are going to raise the invoice. So these are the matching approvals we'll be specifying at the time of creating the purchase order. So as a finance consultant, we should be clear about this concept, two-way, three-way, and four-way. Uh, while creating the PO, according to that invoice will be raised in account uh, payables modules, okay? So that's the cycle information. We should be very clear. Then after that, they'll go for in-depth of uh, AP module, invoice, invoice types. When you create invoice, what are the accounting entries? When you make the payment, what are the accounting entries? Right. For credit memo, what are the accounting entries? For prepayment invoice, what are the accounting entries? When I'm creating a prepayment invoice, from where the account combination will be derived. For example, if I want to do the bills payables, Bills payables is nothing but uh, future dated payments from where we are supposed to do that. Like from managed invoice uh, options, invoice payable, uh, common options for payables and procurement, right? So from there we are going to do that. Where That's optional actually, bills payable account. So if the organizations wants to do that, we are supposed to set that code combination over there. From there it will derive the moment when we do that particular transactions. Okay, so this is how we are supposed to explain the answer in the procure to pay cycle. We don't need to go for again procurement setups because that's not our uh, job. But if at all we want to know, obviously the same setups, common options for payables and procurement, uh, procurement business unit function, procurement uh, requisitioning BU function and buyer will be there. Buyer supplier is common, buyer is common and we'll be able to raise the purchase orders. And what is the role for creating the purchase order? Procurement manager. Procurement manager is the role, okay? So procure to pay cycle, at least a couple of times we are supposed to execute practically. It's there already in our uh, YouTube channel. You can go through that, okay? So, and the answer we are supposed to explain like this here. And how this particular uh, cycle, procurement, invoices, account payables, and general ledger in your mind so that you can easily explain, okay? Thank you.